Hey guys, Jonathan Bazzetta here for JM Sports 100, JM Sports.org. How is it going? Here we are, week five in the NFL. It's set to get underway. This is going to be my preview for that. But before we get to that, uh, I wanted to do two type of videos. Unfortunately, it didn't happen because I'm running so late. So I'm going to really, really quickly squeeze tonight's uh, one college football pick. And, um, and I will throw in the uh, NHL picks too. So here we go. Uh, let's kick things off. With uh, with the NHL, I said I didn't think we were going to do very good yesterday or coming out of the gate. We actually didn't do that bad uh, yesterday. We went 2-1. and one. Um, And the only team that lost was our uh, defending Stanley Cup champion. Um, so that, that was the only team that uh, lost for us. Last night, um, there there was uh, one game that I caught the the end of. Um, in fact, actually, I think there's a game that's actually done, uh, an NHL game that's done for today, and that, uh, so I probably will not pick that one as I wait for the page to load. Um, there are two games that are done, uh, therefore I will not pick them. Buff uh, Buffalo beat Anaheim four to one. Los Angeles beat the New York Rangers three to two in overtime. Uh, the rest of the games take place tonight, so we will not miss them. Here we go. Um, Tampa Bay takes on Carolina. I'm going to go with Tampa Bay. Ottawa takes on Detroit. I'm going to go with Detroit. Nashville takes on Columbus. I'm going to go with Columbus. And Chicago takes on Dallas. I'm going to go with the Blackhawks. So, all right, those are my NHL picks. Uh, I don't think I said they are. Oh, yeah, well, okay. So we're 2-1 and one on the year, obviously, after we went 2-1 yesterday. 409 wins, 338 losses, the overall record. Uh, I do want to say this. Um, my AL prediction that I made for last night was wrong. The Tigers beat the Yankees, and non-Yankee fans all over the world rejoice because the Yankee season came to a close. So the AL uh, matchup starts tomorrow, and that's Detroit and Texas. Quite frankly, I've got Texas in that game. Um, and uh, so I've got Texas in that series. So I've got Texas going to the World Series for the American League. Quite frankly, I think that the National League, uh, you know, two game fives take place today. In fact, one gets underway in just a little bit, the Brewers and the uh, Diamondbacks game five of that series. And then the Cardinal Philly game five takes place later. Uh, I've got the Phillies beating the Cardinals and the Brewers beating the um I've got the Brewers beating the Diamondbacks. So I've got the Brewers and the Phillies. I've got the Phillies beating the Brewers. I've got the Phillies and the Rangers meeting in the World Series. And I'll give you a World Series pick uh, after we get um, a little bit uh, closer to that. All right, so there were two college football games yesterday. We did go in those games one and one. So... Uh, yeah, we did go one and one. Um, I do have my, my NFL sound effect, actually, for uh, this week. I mentioned that I was going to have some sound effects for it, and we finally, I finally got those. So, uh, Oregon blew out uh, Cal last night, 43-19. to Of course, a huge loss for them, though. Michael James did go down with an injury, and that is a huge loss for that Oregon Duck offense. Uh, Western Kentucky, Middle Tennessee, I said that was a toss-up. I took uh, Middle Tennessee, Western Kentucky won 36-33 in overtime. Tonight, number five, Boise State takes on Fresno State on ESPN. Boise State favored. Boise State falls in the polls because they're not blowing teams out. Boise State favored by Fresno State over 20, 21 points. Quite frankly, I think it's a little bit high. I don't do anything with the spread, but quite frankly, I think that is a little bit high. I do have Boise State to win the game, though. Alrighty, let's move on to the NFL. I'm not going to do a college football record right now. Um, but, uh, I guess I can, because I guess I did click on the page. So, with the, I didn't actually update it. Yeah, so um, my bad, but it's not that hard to figure out. We are 1-1 one one on the week so far. 
uh, 256 and 73 on the year, 824, 288 lifetime. And so there you go. That's that. Let's now get to the NFL. And the NFL will look like this for this week. Quite frankly, I expect a really good week for us in the NFL. I think um, some of them are obvious, uh, to be honest with you. And uh, But I guess this year, we can't really say that, because this year in the NFL, nothing is really obvious, I guess. Um, but here we go. Let's kick things off with Philadelphia traveling to Buffalo, taking on the Bills. Philadelphia and Buffalo, of course, Buffalo still undefeated. You know, Buffalo actually lost last week. I think that acts. Buffalo did lose last week. Uh, the Eagles have only won one game so far. The Dream Team. The team that was supposed to take the NFL by storm has only won one game so far this year. I think it I think it's two after Sunday. And I'll tell you why. I think here's my perception of what had happened to the Eagles. The Eagles they they bought into the dream team thing. Okay, the Eagles bought in to the whole dream team situation and it kinda Got into their heads a little bit, if you will. Um, and I think that now they are finally got smacked on earth after they blew a huge lead. They blew a lead to the 49ers last week um, to lose that game. And I think they're kind of off their high horse of that, of we're the best, nobody's going to beat us. So I think now that they will focus, they're, they're not... A great football team. They're just not. Uh, I think they're better than Buffalo on this week. I think personally, I think that because Buffalo has won or has lost their first game, I think they're going to kind of stumble and fumble a little bit now. I've got the Eagles winning the first game. New Orleans and Carolina. Uh, watch out in this game. That's all I'm going to say. I am becoming a. I am a huge Cam Newton fan. I am a huge Cam Newton believer. I am not a huge Carolina Panther believer. I don't believe in the parts that he has around him. I don't believe that they're good enough to help him. I think he's good enough to help the Panthers. I don't think the Panthers are good enough to help him in return. Um, but watch out! Watch out! You know, at, they're at home here. I mean, Carolina's offense, not you know, Cam Newton can rip an offense. And the Saints are a really beat-up team. Um, I've got the Saints winning the game, but watch out for an upset there. Cincinnati and Jacksonville. This is, this, there isn't really much to say about this game. Cincinnati is, is maybe on the cusp of being good. Um, and Jacksonville is just in the way, way bad. Uh, Cincinnati is just a much better football team than Jacksonville, whether it be Blaine Gabbert or Luther Collins, doesn't matter. Andy Dalton is a better quarterback at this point than either of those two. Um, I got to go with the Bengals. Arizona and Minnesota. Minnesota had probably a good, well, they did have a good chance to win the game last week. Uh... Against the Chiefs, they couldn't get it done. The Vikings are 0 4. Donovan McNabb. Donovan McNabb project in Minnesota is not working. I tweeted last week that I think Donovan McNabb's career is over. McNabb doesn't look good. I watched the whole Viking Chief game last week. He just does not look good. He did have one touchdown pass. It was a beautiful pass. I tweeted about it. It was a beautiful pass. But that was about the only thing I thought that he looked extremely good in doing. McNabb just did not look good when the Vikings when the Vikings do get some momentum, they shoot themselves in the foot with penalties. Last week was the first week that they did not blow a halftime lead and they still lost. Minnesota is just a mess. Arizona is not much better. Alright, Arizona is not much better. Um here's the deal. And I'm going to take a lot of heat for this. I think Kevin Cobb has a bright future in Arizona. I know he's got a lot of critics right now, but I think all he needs is more snaps. And I think Cobb is going to be great. 
Okay, maybe not great, but good in that Arizona system. So just give it time. I think the Cardinals going to win. I think the Vikings fall to 0-5. Next up, we have Seattle and the New York Giants. Of course, Giants were my lock of the week last week, and they won in controversial fashion. And um, the, sea, the, the Seahawks are in the NFC worst division, um, and uh, they're just not good. I'm a little worried about the Giants, to be honest. I'm not a full believer on the Giants. I do have still have stock in them. I'm not going to sell it. But I'm not a full believer in the Giants. I think if the Giants were completely healthy or they were quite a bit more healthy than what they are, I think they'd be a lot better. The Seahawks are not good. Um, I don't expect the Giants to pull the Seahawks out, but I do expect the Giants to win the football game. Next up, we have Tennessee and Pittsburgh. The Titans are better than the credit they're... Than than what they're getting credit for. Tennessee, I think, is the one team in the AFC South that is going to compete with Houston. I've said it all year long. Uh, they go up against a Pittsburgh team that is ungodly beat up and ungodly horrible. I watched the uh, Texans-Steeler game last week, and every time I looked up, it, it looked like Raffensperger was on the ground. Their offensive line is horrid. I said it in last week's video. I tweeted about it. They're horrid. I, like I said, every time I looked up at the screen, Roethlisberger was on the turf, and that just cannot happen. Um, Tennessee is, uh, is, I think, the better team. I think Tennessee beats the Steelers in Pittsburgh. Next up, we've got uh, Tampa Bay and San Francisco. Let me let, let me let you know a little secret about Tampa Bay. It's not much a secret because I'm sure some people have figured it out. I think Tampa Bay is one year away, one year from being this year's Detroit Lions. Tampa Bay is young, and they are such a talented football team. Granted, yeah, the Colts kind of gave them fits yesterday, or last week, but I said they would. I picked the Colts to beat them. They didn't. But they kind of gave them fits. Now, San Francisco has got to be a surprise. Now, they're 3-1. and one. Congratulations. I was a huge fan of the Jim Harbaugh hiring the second that it happened. I was a huge fan of it. I'm a huge fan of Harbaugh. I was a huge fan of him at Stanford and what he did with that program. I've been, and I'm a huge fan of him here in San Francisco. I said he would do big things. That's exactly what he's done. They're three and one. Yes, they are in the NFC worst. But um, man, this is just, it's a tough game to call. Uh, the one thing that I said last week. Uh, when I made my Colt Buccaneer pick, I said if the Colts get hurt, the only thing that's going to hurt them is LeGarrette Blunt. And who hurt them for that touchdown that sealed the game? LeGarrette Blunt. Now San Francisco is a little bit more steady. San Francisco is quite a bit more steady defensively than the Colts are. I think San Francisco is playing some of the best defense in the league, in a league that's failing to see defense at this point. Um, I've got Tampa Bay winning the game. But I've got Tampa Bay winning a tight one. Uh, next up, we've got San Diego and Denver. Denver got annihilated by the my Green Bay Packers last week. Um, San Diego uh, barely was able to get by the Chiefs and then beat on the Dolphins pretty pretty bad. Now next week's going to be fun because next week we have to get, get to talk about a Chad Hennyless Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins right now. I think the Dolphins are going to be the ones that win the Andrew Luck sweepstakes, to be honest with you. But anyway, that'll be, we'll talk, I'll talk more about that next week. Um, I've got San Diego in the game. No, what more can you say? Another division game for San Diego. Um, it's in Denver, but I think San Diego is finally starting to catch their feet, starting to catch their role, and we all know that when San Diego gets rolling, once the season starts, San Diego kind of stumbles. Once they get rolling, bad things happen to the NFL. All right, next up we have the New York Jets, New England Patriots. Quite frankly, I think this is a no-brainer pick. In fact, 
This pick is so much of a no-brainer pick that, well, I'll tell you why, first of all. The Jets just played horrid last week against the Ravens. They didn't, it looked like they didn't even show up. And I wasn't expecting that at all. That was um, far from what I was expecting to have happen. And, uh, I was just shocked. Right now, you cannot look at the Jets and call them a playoff team. You just, you can't do it. Patriots are good. Okay, the one problem that the Patriots have is, um, they can't get people off the field. They cannot get people off the field. That's their one problem that they have. Um, but they'll, they'll overcome it, I think. And quite frankly, I think they beat the Patriots, and I think they beat them well. I don't think they beat them by double digits. I will, so I'm going to say that the that the uh, I'm going to go with the Patriots, and that they beat them by nine. Now the spread or the points that I just said isn't, but the Patriots are. The uh, New England Patriots are my, hold on, you gotta wait for it, because of course it's gonna stumble. Lock of the week. There we go. Uh, hopefully we heard that. Hopefully that went through. Uh, if it didn't go through, I'm gonna try to work on it better. Sorry for the delay there. Normally I'm gonna have that sound effect ready before I start recording. It is. My lock of the week for those of you who did not hear what that was. Uh, let's see. Next up, we've got the Sunday night game. Uh, uh, Green Bay and Atlanta. Atlanta isn't really impressing me at all, uh, to be honest. Not in that division. they got to get going. With Tampa Bay catching fire... With New Orleans being the way New Orleans is, they gotta catch fire. But the only thing keeping them from being worse in the division is the Panthers. And if the Panthers keep playing the way they're playing, they could surprise the Falcons. The Packers, meanwhile, potent offense, potent defense. Um, I'm going Packers again, but I don't even feel comfortable about it. I'm gonna go Packers. Uh, like I said, don't really feel the comfort with it. But, you know, we'll see. Um, it'll happen. Maybe, maybe it will, maybe it won't. It's a close game. It is a very close game, I think. I think the Packers do just edge it out, though. The Monday night game, Detroit Lions-Chicago Bears. The Lions have not been undefeated at this point in the season for a long time. The Lions have not been on Monday night football for a long time. They are against the Chicago Bears here. The Bears are just a, an ugly team. The Bears, you don't know what you're going to get. It's a lot like last year. Everybody's expecting the Bears to collapse, and they really never did. Um, but, but, but the Bears this year, you really you don't know what you're going to get. Uh, it, it's just it's ugly. Um, the Lions, I think they come out, and I think they play well on Monday Night Football. They're undefeated. They're playing good ball, having some big comebacks. They came back against the Vikings. They came back against the Cowboys last week. Um... So that's just what I think. I think that uh, the Lions are going to get a win. I think it's going to be a close game. I think the Lions will continue to be undefeated. I think they play well on Monday Night Football. Uh, there are bye weeks this week. Uh, I will start going over bye weeks next week because I forgot to look at them before I started to record. So I'm going to get out of here because we're over 19 minutes already. So sorry for the slow, slow start and slow parts throughout the video. I really hope you stuck through all this. I am Jonathan Bazette for Jam Sports 100 and JMSports.org. I am out. Peace.